Welcome again to uh, video number three for fluid mechanics. Um, just to recap, we in the previous um, video, I kind of miss out uh, the uh, the gravity portion of the um, pressure equation here. Um, 0.85 specific gravity times the density of water. This will give you the density of oil and 55 centimeters is actually the height um, of um, the manometric uh, fluid. And I forgot the, um, the gravity here. So you, you gotta add uh, 9.81 to the equation. Nonetheless, the, uh, the answer is still 100.6 kilopascal. Okay, now uh, coming back to the um, uh, the, the new um, uh, question that we have here, what I have on the uh, diagram is the uh, manometric with multiple fluid. We have uh, mercury. We also have uh, we also have oil, and we also have water and there's also a, a, an air trap uh, inside the uh, tank the uh, tank is actually located uh, about 1400 meters uh, from this the sea level so the atmospheric pressure is given as 85.6 kilopascal and you have the density of mercury it's given as 13,600 kilogram per meter cube you have the density of oil given as 850 kilogram per meter cube and you have the density of water at 1000 kilogram per meter cube I also have the uh, H which is the height uh, difference in the uh, manometric fluid we have uh, H1 0 0.1 meter H2 which is this one here 0 0.2 meter and we have H3 0 Point three five meters. So now we are asked to uh, find what is the air pressure inside this tank, which is at this point one here. Okay, to begin with, I will start uh, to put up a uh, equation. We will start from the um, atmospheric. Uh, pressure level which is at point 0.2 and work all the way in through this tube into the tank and up to the point 0.1 okay, so the equation will go something like this as you go down the tube you will add the um, rho g h as you as you go up, you will uh, subtract. Okay, I will start at point two, so I have P two plus the difference here. I will it will take me to this point here, and that is rho the density of mercury times the g times H3 
and um, according to Pascal law again uh, this point here and this point will have same pressure so now we need to work out what is the pressure at this point which is basically the difference in height between here and here it's h2 so now we are going up the tube so i'm going to subtract the density of oil times g times h2 so this from this point i will go up the tube and arrive at this point here Now from this point, I need to go to point 1, which has a difference in elevation of H1. That is also uh, going up, so I'm going to sub subtract the density of water times G times H1. And this will bring us up to this point, point 1. This equals to P1. Now we also know that uh, point 2, let me rewrite the equation again, so I have P1 is equals to P2 plus rho of mercury times G times H3 minus rho of oil times G and H2 minus density of water G H1 and um, P2 here is actually the atmospheric pressure so in terms of gauge this will be equals to zero we are measuring a gauge pressure now here. Oh, I'm sorry, we are supposed to calculate the uh, uh, absolute pressure. So this one here, um, P2 is actually atmospheric pressure. So I have uh, the whole equation will be like this. Um, the atmospheric pressure given on top here, 85 85.6 kilopascal. And I want to try and um, take out the equation. I'll put um, the G outside and then what I have is just the um, density of mercury times the um, height minus the density of oil times its corresponding height minus the uh, density of water times the height and I will end up with 85.6 kilopascal which is the uh, atmospheric pressure plus whatever the difference from point 2 until we reach the uh, tank inside which gives us 44.05 kilopascal so the absolute pressure for the air inside the tank is 130 kilopascal 
okay so this is actually how you solve the manual metric uh, problem with multiple uh, fluid inside the tank so you can um, kind of revisit this video just to get the whole of it and I wish you good luck thank you bye